In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the ConvertKit add-on for WP Courseware. Okay, let's begin. First, you'll notice that I have the WP Courseware ConvertKit add-on already installed and activated. The plugin is available at wordpress.org. Okay, so next what we want to do is we want to configure the ConvertKit add-on by clicking on WP Courseware and Settings. Here at the top, look for the Add-ons tab. Go ahead and click Add-ons. And you'll notice that I already have the ConvertKit add-on enabled. You'll also notice I have it configured with the API key and the API secret key. However, you can get this key set directly from ConvertKit. In your ConvertKit account, if you click on your username on the upper right-hand corner and click Account Settings, you'll notice that you have an API key and an API secret key. You'll need to click the Show option here to view the API secret key. Once you copy and paste those into the appropriate text boxes, you can then save settings. Now your ConvertKit add-on is ready to use. Okay, so next what we want to do is we want to go and view our courses. You'll notice I've got a few courses already created here. And so if we click into one of these courses, look under course settings and you'll notice there's a ConvertKit option. Let's go ahead and click on that. Okay. So these first three options here allows you to connect this particular course to a form, a sequence, or a tag. So in other words, if somebody enrolls into this course, you can add them to a form, to a sequence, or a tag. Okay, so let's go ahead and configure this. Let's go ahead and add a form. We'll go ahead and add a sequence. And we'll go ahead and add a tag as well. Now you'll notice you can add multiple, multiple forms, multiple sequences, and multiple tags. Uh, for this particular demonstration, I'm just going to select one of each. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and click Update. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we want to enroll into this course to test this out. So to do so, we're going to enroll into How to Train Cats 101. Okay, so you'll notice that we are now enrolled in How to Train Cats 101. Now what we need to do is go check our email to ensure that we were added as a subscriber. Okay, so it looks like we were added, so let's go ahead and confirm our subscription. Okay, so now we were added to ConvertKit as a subscriber. We were added to not only a form, but we were also added into a sequence and also we were tagged. So what we can do now is we can actually go and verify that in our ConvertKit account. Okay, so here's our new subscriber. You'll notice we have the test tag. You'll also notice that we've been added to the test sequence and you'll also notice that we've been added to the test form. Okay, so now let's go back to our course and let's take a look at webhooks. Okay, so here we have the ConvertKit webhook feature. This is a very powerful feature because you can actually enroll students based on a behavior that happens in ConvertKit. Okay, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and give our webhook a name. Okay, so now we want to pick an actual event that is associated with this particular webhook. And you'll notice you have subscriber activated. This simply means that anybody that is added as a subscriber by any means to ConvertKit will actually be enrolled into this particular course. Okay, we have subscribes to a form. So whenever somebody subscribes to a particular form, they will get enrolled into this particular course. If somebody is added to a sequence, again, they will be enrolled into this course. If they complete a specified sequence, then they will be enrolled into this course. And if a tag is added to their profile, they will also be enrolled into this course. So you have any one of these options, you can create multiple webhooks. So for the purposes of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use a form and then it allows you to select which form you'd like to introduce. So we're gonna use test form. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this webhook. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out now. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and delete the subscriber so that I can reuse this email address. Okay, so now I've deleted that subscriber. I'm also going to go ahead and delete this user so that all of the uh, course information that's associated with this user will be deleted. So let's go ahead and delete this particular user. Okay, now we're ready to test the opt-in form. And let's go ahead and opt-in to our form here. Okay, so let's check our email to confirm our subscription. Okay, so here it is right here. And so let's go ahead and confirm our subscription. Okay, so now let's go ahead and verify that this person was actually enrolled. So if we go back to our admin panel and click on WP Courseware Students, you'll notice that the very first student listed here is now enrolled into How to Train Cats 101. Okay, so if you were the student that opted into that particular form, uh, you would also have received an email with your account information. So if you notice here, here's our email with our account details, which includes the uh, username, the email address used to register. Now, obviously we cannot uh, include the password within the email for security reasons. However, there's a link right here so that uh, this particular person can reset the password uh, for this for this username or email address. Once the password is reset, they can log in to the uh, student account dashboard and they can see their course. Okay, so just to conclude, we've tested how to associate your course with a form sequence or tag so that upon enrollment, you are associated with that particular form sequence or tag. And we've also demonstrated how to use webhooks so that enrollment will occur based on a behavior such as subscribing to a form or a sequence or being added to a tag uh, within ConvertKit. So, so I hope this demonstration has been helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any helpful video content just like this one. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you receive notification when we release a new video. And thank you for watching.